Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. This is Slangy. Today we are finally at part three of my moisturizer faves. There's so many beneficial ingredients in this moisturizer that I'd love to share with you guys. I also love the fact that this is a local South African brand. Personally, I feel like they've gotten the basics of a good moisturizer and we'll get to why that is the case. So this moisturizer is widely available at so many retail stores. You can get it at Pick and Pay, Clicks, Discam, Shoprite, Checkers, Game, as well as Porsche M's own website. But what I've noticed is that on their website, um, the prices are slightly expensive. So I'd advise that you just stick to buying it uh, from retail stores and also clicks like having that three for two of theirs. So if you're going to get into this range, you'll definitely be saving. So everything in the pomegranate range um, has vitamin C. So when I was doing my research, I actually learned that pomegranate is a good source of vitamin C. I didn't know, but now we know. And also, this range has been designed for people with oily skin that is sensitive. I have combination skin. I'm sure most of you by now know. <laughs> it's a song that we're seeing in every video um, for reference sake. My T-zone is oily and my cheeks are dry. So at the end of the day, I need a moisturizer that is going to cater for the dry parts of my cheeks while making sure that my T-zone is properly nourished without raising the risk of having my pores clogged. So this is their day cream moisturizer with SPF 20. So let's get to how this looks like as well as its consistency. So it's just a clear white. The lighting is not doing uh, me any justice, but anyway, it's clear white and this is the consistency. It's not thick, it's not runny, it's medium thick, if I can put it like that. And I'm just going to show you guys how um, it applies so that you see the smoothness as well as how it runs on the rest of your skin. So I'm just going to quickly make sure that I rub this into my hands and let's get to the ingredients. So the number one thing that I love before we get to SPF and vitamin C is the fact that the first ingredient here is aqua. So any product that has water as the first ingredient or the second ingredient is a very good um, product especially if you suffer with hydration issues our skin gets nourished and it thrives when it's properly hydrated and our hydration comes from water what the other ingredients help with um, in skincare products is to help attract water into the epidermis and the other ones will now come in and seal the moisture that has been attracted to our skin so those ingredients that attract water you know by now are called humectants and the ones that seal in that moisture are called occlusives so in this moisturizer we have water we also have glycerin which is a very good um humectant affordable as well so most products that will have glycerin um will tend to be more affordable as compared to the ones that have hyaluronic acid both of them perform the same function it's just a matter of preference and of course affordability our occlusives here are petrolatum and if you had me in the previous videos i've been raving about how my skin is loving me using petrolatum to finish off my nighttime routine so it's here we also have paraffinum liquidum paraffinum liquidum is a highly refined mineral oil other than its occlusive properties it helps um, the other ingredients like emollients perform their moisturization duty at their best another ingredient that assists in this regard is dimeticon dimeticon is also used as a preservative and in most cases this is to help regulate the products um, consistency texture how smooth it is how it lies on your skin and the likes to add to that there's another beneficial preservative in care and that is diazolidinyl urea so this is an antimicrobial preservative that helps manage those tiny little microorganism that reduces the shell life of a product and spoiling it Whew, that was a mouthful but let's get to the rest of the exciting ingredients that I love so you've heard me talk about the SPF 20 element we all need a minimum of SPF 20 and we need to be applying SPF every day and reapplying it every two hours thank you <laughs> in order to give our skin the best defense against free radicals so vitamin c is an antioxidant and antioxidants paired with vitamin c are a 
combo because they increase each other's effectiveness in helping our skin fight free radicals which make us premature early so your fine lines wrinkles discoloration and the likes let's get to the remaining two that i really really love and that is niacinamide as well as sheer butter niacinamide is a form of vitamin b3 and it has so many added advantages of using it Number one, people with oily skin, acne prone skin, combination skin, um, niacinamide helps with sebum production. So that is the release of oil on your skin. For people with dry skin, niacinamide helps with repairing compromised um, skin barrier as well as damaged or weak skin barrier. Typically people with dry skin have this kind of issues. Niacinamide also help in evening out our skin so it is a multi-talented girl and i'm here for it let's get to sheer butter sheer butter baby sheer butter is responsible for so many things it has healing properties it's anti-inflammatory it's also able to help um with burns tends to have those soothing and calming properties it also has vital vitamins that our skin needs there's vitamin a there's vitamin e and vitamin f I'm not so sure about what vitamin F does, but vitamin A and vitamin E, I know. Vitamin E is an antioxidant and it really goes a long way in maintaining the elasticity of our skin. So it does um, boosting the production of collagen. Vitamin A also does the same thing. Added to that, it helps with the cell turnover rate of our skin. So it greatly assists in um, shredding off dead skin cells in order for the fresh and newer ones underneath to come up so that we have that glowing, supple, hydrated, well maintained skin i actually have a vitamin a serum but it's not from posha m so we'll get to that i'll do a dedicated video for that one so another good thing about shea butter is the fact that there's been so much research done on it and we know that it definitely moisturizes um your skin whether it's your scalp it's your face it's your body it has those fatty acids that are good um emollients so we can go on and on and on about this moisturizer i love it and based on the things that i've mentioned i'm sure that you guys will be able to make um, a good decision and I need to add that it's alcohol free it's perfume fragrance free it doesn't have artificial color it takes a lot of good points in terms of what is needed in a good moisturizer if you have any questions please feel free to let me know in the comment section and I'll be sure happy to help do take care and keep well the next video while we're still on Porsche M I'll be talking about their toner in the pomegranate range and why you need it so do check out that video soon. Bye-bye.